Hello and welcome to The Pulse, where we stop saying that catchphrase because I'm just as sick of it as you are. I'm Tanner and with me today is... Taryn! Anyway, on to the news for Broken Arrow High School for the week of January 26th through the 30th. Actually, Tanner, before we get to the news for this week, we have to announce the top five tweets of the week for our Hashtag of the Week contest and reveal this week's winner. Taryn, you are correct. Here are the top five tweets for this week. And I'm here with this week's winner of the Hashtag of the Week contest, Dia Delsa. Dia, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. The hashtag for this week is hashtag my motivation. So as soon as this episode is over, you can start sending your tweets to at VHS Tigers. Use the hashtag my motivation for a chance to win a free t-shirt and be entered in a grand prize drawing. There you go. Quick shout out to the Raw Set Show Choir Tribe. We're going to contest soon. Well, congrats again, Dia. Thanks for joining us. Now back to Taryn and Tanner for the rest of the news. Congrats and thanks for joining us. Now on to the news. On Monday, the sophomore boys and girls basketball teams traveled to Bixby to take on the Spartans. Girls game is at 5 and the boys play at 7. On Tuesday the 27th, the JV and varsity basketball teams will be on the road at Jinx. Get out and support our teams against the Trojans. Also on Tuesday night, our number one ranked wrestling team travels to Stillwater to take on the number two Pioneers. Good luck guys! The wrestling team returns home on Thursday the 29th when they host Bixby at the Tiger Fieldhouse. Come out and support the Tigers and watch some of the best high school wrestling in the nation. The varsity boys basketball team will be showcasing their skills at the BOK Center Saturday night. Girls, have you asked a lucky guy to the Sadie Hawkins dance yet? Well, it's coming up on February 7th. And girls, Tanner is available. Students can buy the tickets in Student Union starting this Wednesday and also get forms to bring a non-BAHS guest as well. The forms will be due on the 5th. Winter Spring Court is coming up on February 26th. Students can nominate female seniors to represent the student body for the court beginning Monday, January 26th through Wednesday, January 28th until 3.30 p.m. Two female seniors receiving the most nominations will participate in the Winter Spring Court. Next up, we have a very important announcement from our friend Miranda about why you need to buy your BAHS yearbook. Hi guys, I'm Miranda, and did you know that January 31st is the last day to guarantee your copy of the yearbook? It's also the last chance to get the discount for $75. Yearbooks can be ordered at JostinsYearbooks.com or in room D158. Okay, I'm about, I'm about to, to break, break it down! down. Wiki wiki! Here we go. Every time I look around, all I ever see is people reading their yearbook just like me. I got Kelly, Julie, Aaron, Brittany, and Shannon too. My Gracie and Elizabeth, but Ashley's my favorite, boo. They have your orders in D158, but you're about to be late. January 31st is your last chance. 460 pages for only 75 bucks, but you're about to be out of luck. Hey, where are my books at? Where are my yearbooks at? I got so many books, man, I want you to have one too. Well, that was interesting. 
<laughs> and if by interesting you mean awesome, then yeah, it was definitely interesting. I'm going to go buy a yearbook right now. I don't know why I've waited so long. Um, well, okay, Taryn, <laughs> thanks for joining me. For those of you that haven't already rushed out to D158 to buy a yearbook or got onto your mobile device to order online from Johnston's, please pay attention to this special announcement from our Applied Leadership students. We all know that flex period can be boring if you don't have anything to do. But how about if you use that extra time to make a project for a good cause? And that's a plus, get a prize if you participate. Starting January 20th, the high school started care package drive for the military. These packages are needed every day for the soldiers who serve our country. The BHS Applied Leadership class has partnered with Blue Star Mothers to hold this competition to collect items to send to military personnel stationed in Afghanistan. We will have the contest throughout the school to whoever has the most creative and most valued care package box. You, as a class, will be able to spend your fourth hour flex period to design your box and make it as stylish as possible. But the most important part is to fill the box. You'll need to donate certain items based on a point scale value due to the importance. You can find the point scale from your flex teacher. These items are very cheap and you can find most of them value price. You can also write letters of appreciation, which of course are free. The more points the better. Design and donations will be combined for your class's points. The class with the highest points will win first place. The class with the second highest amount of points will win second place. First place will have the option of a pizza party or donuts for their class. Second place will get whatever wasn't chosen by the winners. Remember, these boxes are for a good cause, and we look forward to seeing your helpful donations and crazy designs. Well, kids, that's all I've got for you this week, so let's send it to Kyrie and Louise for all the club meeting announcements. Hello, I'm Kyrie Puckett, and I'm here with my boy Louise. And we are going to give you the ins and outs about the hottest clubs in BX. No, Kyrie, we're supposed to talk about the club meeting times, not those kind of clubs. For real? Like, so you don't know if the BA Applebee stays open past midnight or not? No, Kyrie, I don't. <sighs> well, in that case, I guess I should let you know that the BA ambassadors meet every Monday before and after school in B218 and also during Flex. The Professional Development Club meets every Wednesday during Flex in room B232. The academic team practices time has changed for the rest of the year. They will be meeting on Mondays from 2.40 to 4 in D106 instead of Wednesdays. Also, anyone who is interested in joining next year can start coming to practice. Skills USA meets every Monday during Flex in C206. Future Medical Professionals meets on Tuesday the 27th and Thursday the 29th after school in the main 204. This week on Tuesday they will have a physical therapist speaking and on Thursday a sports trainer. Art Club members, don't forget you meet every Tuesday in VPA 104 after school. And the Business Professionals of America will be in B236 during Flex on Tuesday as well as on Friday during the same time. Interact Club meets during Flex on Wednesday in Miss Corbin's room C116. BA Mock Trial competes on Thursday, January 29th in Stillwater at the Payne County Courthouse against Arcache and Mustang. Go Tiger Mock Trial! Thursday at 7.30 a.m. in the main gym bleachers, you can start your day off on the right foot by attending the FCA club meeting. Also, every Thursday, my favorite club, the Astronomy Club, meets in A266 with Mr. Murray. Well, my favorite club, Guitar Club, meets every Friday in A156 during Flex. We would also like to note for you animal lovers out there, Zoology Club meetings are scheduled for the first Thursday of each month in A158 during Flex. And don't forget that Zoology Club teachers' are, orders are due by January 31st. So, Louise, are you sure Applebee's isn't open late in VA? I heard it's off the hook. I don't know, Kyrie, but I do know we need to send it over to Nathan and Luce for the College and Career Center notes. All right, kids, we've got a few more announcements. If you're interested in eventually going to college or having one of those career things adults are always talking about, pay attention. First, we got to tell them that on Monday the 26th, we have Oklahoma State University IT here in the College and Career Center at 10.30 a.m. Okay. On Thursday, the 29th, we have NSU in the building at 10.30 a.m. So? On Friday, the 30th, the Air Force College is going to be here in the College and Career Center at 10.30 a.m. And also, on Friday, Oklahoma City University will be here at 1.30 p.m. I don't see how any of this is at all important. Do you know anything about colleges, Nathan? Yeah, I do. It's where kids go to get away from their parents for four or five years, or more, if they know how to stretch out their parents' money. Wow. 
Anyways, students, don't forget that the first Tulsa Tech application deadline is on Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th? If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. There is also going to be an open house for Tulsa Tech at all their campuses' locations on Thursday, January 29th from 3.30 till 6.30. Who are you talking to? Can you contribute anything to the Pulse at all? Um, yes. If you have any more questions, you can visit Justin Edsel in the College and Career Center every Tuesday. No, he's here every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yes, that's what I meant. Thank you for watching The Pulse, where we stop and pause for the news. The library is a place for work, not play. Here are a few things you shouldn't do in the library. Playing games such as hide and seek or tag. You can play card games. Hey guy, you have a four and a half? Just be respectful and quiet. Eating is allowed, but please stay in the commons area. Don't bring food onto the carpet, and don't forget to clean up your trash. Also, the commons area is closed when the sign is posted. The laptops and desktops in the library are for research and schoolwork. Please do not play any video games. Overall, just be considerate in the library. It is a place for work and quiet. Let's keep it that way. Thank you. Look how beautiful this this world is around us. Yeah, it's very like still. Very still. Very still. Not windy at all. No, it's very it's very calm today. It's almost eerie. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, what you just watched was Fun Fact, filmed entirely in an insane asylum. Fun Fact. Okay. It was abandoned 30 years ago. Yeah, it's haunted. That's beside the point. Basically, we have a new movie review show we want to share with you guys. It's called What's Poppin' or Cade and Friends Movie Time. I'm a friend. And I'm Cade. And I don't have time to say my name. Nope, Brad, we do not. Tight schedule. I am right. so sorry you cannot say I'm Brad right now. Cause, okay. Whew, we're really, really tight. It's really, really tight. It's right really now. crunch time right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, we got to just keep it going. Yeah. Um, also, you can go and see that whenever it's up at bahspulse.com. That is B as in Brad, R as in. A -R -A. There's not an R in there. I'm spelling it your name, Brad. The point is, it is bahspulse.com. I don't know why I said that. I got a job. You did it. <laughs> Two female seniors receiving the most nominations will participate in the winter. Win <laughs> did you just say the winter? <laughs> participate in the winter spring cart? I hate my life. Do I literally say yeah. insert name here? It, it should be in anti. Human trafficking, not an anti-human <laughs> trafficking <group. laughs> That sounds like they're the ones doing the trafficking. Girls, have you asked yourself a lucky guy? Asked yourself a lucky guy. Have you asked yourself a lucky guy? Girls, have you asked yourself... <laughs> no, you got me doing it. Girls, have you asked yourself a... <laughs> I'm leaving. Again. I'm done. How does that happen every single time? Can you read? No, I can't, apparently. It's okay, I can't either. It's not even just you? reading, it's adding in my own words. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. It's so Thanks hot for... in here. Lights. Now, um, 
Brad, what am I grabbing from down here? Oh, that's a pina colada. It is. Wait, we'll is that, that? Are we allowed to advertise that? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Brad, what was <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. She talked about it, and it was in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I specifically picked out a drink that was non-alcoholic that we could say, and that's why we, we agreed on Limeade. And Lime, didn't, didn't I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that it was Limeade. <laughs> yeah, this is the last time. Congrats, Tanner. Wait, no, I just read that wrong. I just read Tanner's line. Yeah, wait, is she just going to awkwardly walk away? <laughs> I want to. Because I just got really <laughs> confused and she just goes. Yeah. I was no, Kyrie. No, I don't. <sighs> well, in that case, I guess I should let you. You guys didn't look at the other camera. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, oh God. I didn't it says it. <laughs> the academic team practices time has changed for the rest of the year. They will be meeting Mondays from 2.40 to 4 in D106 instead of Wednesdays. <laughs> oh my goodness, it sneaks on you, it sneaks up on you. I I'm Sergeant Ed Ferguson with the Broken Arrow Police Department, reminding you that each year thousands of drivers are victims of distracted driving. This occurs from texting, talking, or simply not paying attention to the roadway. We urge you to please put down your cell phone and be attentive when you're behind the wheel of that vehicle. This life-saving message is brought to you as a courtesy by our friends from Matthews Ford and Broken Arrow.